Hi guys, I want to share with you this homemade clock that I made for homeschooling. Now, it doesn't look like a big one, but um, I just took a piece of cardboard that I had, cut the strip, and then shaped the circle as best I can. I've tried, I had to use an sh actual shape because if I tried to do it by myself, I would have been lining, erasing, lining, erasing. Oh, that doesn't look right. I just, when it comes to shapes, I want it to be as close to the shape as the original as I possibly can get. So I traced it and then um, I cut it out with scissors and I only had to buy these hand pieces and it was like a little over $2. Um, I guess I could have made my own when I stopped to think about it. But the day that I went shopping for this, I was trying to get the ones that were already um, made up and everything that they used to have, the paper ones, but I don't know, I guess they're discontinued and they just don't make them anymore and stuff. All they had was wall clocks. I'm like, oh, forget it. But this one, um, I'm going to get a closer view of it. I have the short hand, the long hand, and then in between the numbers, you know, I have the 5, 10, 15, all that for my children because they are doing their clocks as my son is um, this year. My daughter's actually catching on pretty quickly. But anyway, I have all that written around. I think I might mark the numbers with a marker to get it darker, but this will keep for years to come, and I'll just keep it in my homeschool stuff, so it'll be fine. Um, we might use it for something else in the future. You never know. You never know what you might need a clock for. So, and the handles, I popped through the other side, and I actually used a twisty, believe it or not, to keep it open. I popped a hole through there, lined up the um, handles, and then I pushed it through and then I just twisted the back and then I just flipped it over. So that works well on that. And I was like, oh, I was brainstorming, how can I make hands that will fit on there, that will fall off, and da da da, and that will be able to move easily all the way around. I mean, one hand moves, but you can always, one hand moves. Um, when the other one does sometimes, but you can always hold the other one down and then move it. It's no big deal. So, uh, anyway, I wanted to share with you that. It might not be really you who, you know, wow, but that's my homemade clock, and I only spent a little, a little over $2 for the whole thing, so I'm quite proud of it. So I just wanted to share with you guys that. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you homeschool, maybe it gives you some homemade ideas, or do stuff instead of going and buying something. So. I will touch you guys later. You guys have a good rest of your day. All right, talk to you later.